Hello, about to begin the yoga set. Let's get this set up real quick. You can choose your own music or you can listen along with the music I chose on Spotify that's linked in the video. And I'm gonna grab a couple blocks. I have quiet peace. If you have blocks, go ahead and grab them. On auto. That auto that call is going to be recorded on my yoga sequence if you don't turn it down. All right, my son's on FaceTime. So if you have blocks, go ahead and start in supported fish. If not, just start in a Shavasana sequence. When you're in supported fish, do one block on low and the other one on medium, or the other on medium and low, the other one on high. The um, lower block is parallel to your spine just below your shoulder blades, and this one's gonna support your head. Just settle down, relax. Maybe the soles of your feet come together. Palms face up. And start to breathe primarily through your nose, inhaling and exhaling nice and slowly. Roughly equal count on the inhale and exhale. Maybe it's a five count breath or a seven count breath. And just surrender into the earth and relax. Settle into your practice. Maybe set an intention. Maybe it's compassion or gratitude, kindness, love, whatever you need, patience maybe. Go ahead and breathe primarily through your nose again. Continue. Maybe stretch that breath out a bit longer and slower. Relax. This fish, fish posture helps us open up our heart by bringing your chest forward and your shoulders back. Helps us settle into our practice. When you feel like you've had enough of this posture, maybe just straighten your legs down long and continue staying in your supported fish pose. Continue breathing, settling in. As a reminder, yoga is for you. If anything is too difficult, feel free to make it easier. If anything is too easy, feel free to make it more challenging. If you don't know what I'm doing at any time, don't worry about it, just do your best. Whenever you're ready, we're gonna take a niche of so Just roll onto your side, remove the blocks and roll onto your back, relaxing your body. Palms face up. Hands out wide, legs out wide, heels in, toes out. And just surrender into the earth.
two, three. When you say breathe, obviously you're breathing anyway, but focus on your breath. Focus on those nice slow inhales and exhales. You have a raised stretch to bring some life to hands and feet and just wiggle your fingers and toes and then stretch your hands up overhead, your legs down long, heels planted on the earth. And maybe just bring one arm up a little bit higher and the other and get a nice stretch on your back. Maybe your shoulder blades and shoulders get a bit of a stretch. Then relax your hands down beside you, bring your knees towards your chest. One hand on each shin and just gently rock side to side. Take some nice gentle circles. And maybe bring the soles of your feet towards the sky for happy baby. Hands out on the outsides of your feet. Knees pulled down towards your armpits. Relax. Maybe bring the soles of your feet together, relax in the reclined butterfly. And then bring one arm overhead and roll onto your side and come to a nice, comfortable seated position. Let's make sure the live stream is working. Looks like we're good. You can place a block underneath your seat if you'd like, sitting on the edge of it. Inhale, bring your arms fully up overhead, fingers touch gently, and exhale, slowly release your hands back down to the earth. Inhale, rise up, and exhale, release. One more time, inhale your hands up overhead. Exhale, release. Inhale, bring your hands up overhead, interlace your fingers, bring your palms face up. And then exhale, release your right hand, lean to the right. Order down at your hand, whatever is right for you. With each exhale, try to surrender a little bit deeper to the side. Inhale, slowly rise up, interlace your fingers, stretch up nice and tall. Exhale, release your hand to the left side, lean to the left. Inhale, slowly rise back up through center. Fingers interlace, palms up. And then exhale, twist to the right. Left hand behind you, right hand outside. Your right quad, sit up tall and then look over that shoulder in the back. Keeping the twist in your spine, turn just your head forward and look over that left shoulder. And exhale, release. Inhale, your hands up overhead, and then lace your fingers and point up again. And then exhale, twist to the left, sitting up tall, twisting from the belly and looking over that back shoulder. Each exhale, maybe twisting a little bit deeper from the core. Keeping that twist in your body, turn just your head forward and look over your right shoulder. Exhale, release. Bring your hands to your knees and just shrug your shoulders. 
a few times in one direction and a few times in the other direction, nice and slow. Then inhale, look down at your right shoulder and exhale, slowly rotate down through the center and over to the left. And continue to rotate nice and slow. The slower, the more you'll get out of it. Continue breathing. Anywhere you feel significant discomfort, pause and take a breath or two. After three full revolutions, pause. We'll rotate in the other direction. We'll turn to neutral. If you have the block underneath you still, go ahead and remove it. Give you some seated cat cows, hands on your knee or your shins. Inhale, starting from the bottom of your spine, working your way up, bring your belly forward, chest forward, shoulders back. And then exhale, round from the bottom of your spine. Continue moving with your own breath, inhaling for cow. Exhaling for cat, inhale for cow, and exhale for cat. Return to neutral. Now we're gonna do a seated cat cow variation. We're gonna bring one hand over the other and then interlace your fingers. Inhale your arms up overhead for cow, straighten your spine. Exhale round and bring your arms parallel to the earth for cat. Inhale. Exhale for cat. Inhale for cat. And exhale for cat. Return to neutral. And it's heater totter, one hand facing you, one hand facing me. Get a nice strong grip between your fingers. And inhale one side up, the other side down. And exhale to neutral. Opposite side, inhale up. Exhale to neutral. Continue back and forth with your own breath. Inhaling up and down, exhaling to neutral. I'm on each side. Relax. Still unseated, inhale your arms up overhead and then exhale just gently fold forward. Inhale, slowly rise up, hands up over, and exhale, just fold to your side. Inhale, back up through center, and exhale, fold towards the other side, keeping your seat planted. Inhale, back up through center, exhale, release, straighten the legs. Sit up nice and tall, engage your quads. Inhale your arms up overhead and exhale, fold forward, but keep your back straight so don't round your back. And then exhale and round and maybe you grab your toes, maybe you don't, maybe your hands are just on your shins or your knees, and fold forward. Inhale, slowly rise up. From a seated pose, we're gonna inhale. You either can keep your foot on the ground or you can bring your right foot up a couple of inches. You can start to point and flex the right foot as you inhale, exhale. This is a nice subtle movement, generates a lot of, a lot of tension in your legs really fast. If at any point you need a break, take one. Don't feel bad, just do your best. And then your next inhale, go ahead and point and hold for a breath. And then start to rotate in one direction, continuing to breathe.
and then hold, rotate in the opposite direction, continuing your breath, rotating nice and slow. Go ahead and release. Go ahead and massage your quad, IT bands, and your calves. Inhale, left leg up and over a couple of inches or keep it on the earth and start to point flex as you breathe. Hold it at the point and then start to rotate Continuing with your breath. Hold the point and then rotate in the opposite direction. We'll go ahead and release. Again, massage out your quads and your IT bands and calves. Bring your knees together. We'll come over to hands and knees. We're gonna bring the right foot out to the side. Solo your foot to the earth. And walk your hands up. Inhale your arms up overhead. And exhale, lean towards that right leg. Inhale up through center. And exhale, lean to the left. You can stay there or do a modified side plank. Inhale, rise back up through center. Exhale, lean to the right again. Inhale, rise back up through center. Plant your hands. Plant your right knee, bring your left foot out to the side. Inhale, rise up through center. Exhale, lean to the left. Inhale, rise up through center. Exhale to the left, maybe lift that top leg for a modified side plank. Inhale, rise back up through center. Exhale, lean to the left. Inhale, rise up through center, plant your hands, come through hands and knees. Let's take a couple of normal cat cows, inhale, lower the belly, chest slides forward. Exhale, round the spine. Whenever your hands are on the earth, continue moving with your own breath. Your fingers are spread wide, as little space between the earth and your hands as possible. Hands are roughly under your shoulders, middle or pointer finger or middle finger facing forward. Continue inhaling and exhaling, cow and cat. Your elbows are slightly bent. Now from your neck, knee to forehead, inhale, extend, exhale, round. Inhale, extend, and then bring your left hand forward if you'd like. Exhale, off to the side. Inhale, forward and back. Exhale, off to the side. Inhale, extend. Exhale to the side. And inhale, extend and hold. And then you can optionally take the heart open by bending your knee and grabbing your back foot. Chest forward, shoulders back, kicking gently into your hand. And then bring your hand to the earth and bring your foot to the left side of your mat and tap twice, and arc up and over, focusing on height over speed. As you inhale and exhale side to side, tapping twice on each side, opening up your glutes and your hips with this moon posture. One more time on each side. You bring your knee to the earth. And then knees wide, toes together for child's pose, with wide knees, hands forward, hips back towards your feet.
and stay here in child's pose. We'll walk your hand off to the right and settle back down to the earth. Inhale, walk your hands to center if you're taking the twist and then twist to the left. Inhale, back through center. Come back to hands and knees. And inhale, your left leg behind you. Round, knee to forehead. You can always just do normal child's pose here if that's right for you. Exhale round, then you can turn this into full balancing by also bringing your right hand forward. And then exhale out to the side. Inhale, extend forward and back. Exhale round and your leg and hand off to the side. Inhale, extend forward and back. Exhale round to the side, then extend. You can bend your knee, grab your foot, Open your heart, kick gently, then bring your hand to the earth, put to the right side of your mat and tap twice, arcing up and over, focusing on height over width or speed again. One more time on each side. Release, curl your toes, plant your hands, come to down dog, straighten one knee and bend the other as you attempt to bring your heels to the earth. Forming a nice upside down V-shape, look back between your feet. Inhale, glide forward to plank. The front plank, come onto your forearms if you'd like. The forearm plank. And from forearm plank, if you'd like, you can walk your feet forward until you're in dolphin. Maybe lifting one leg and then the other. Then bring your knees back to the earth. Back to child's pose briefly. And then come back up to down dog. And slowly walk your hands back to your feet. Inhale your hands to your shins for half lift. And exhale, fold forward and surrender to the earth. One hand on each elbow, opposite elbow. Try to surrender your head towards the earth. Straighten your legs with slight bend in your knees. And as you straighten one leg a bit more than the other, you might, gently might start to gently sway side to side. Exhale, release the hands towards the earth or to your shins. And inhale, slowly rise up. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Inhale your hands up overhead and exhale lean to your right. Inhale your hands up overhead and exhale lean to the left. Inhale hands up overhead, cactus the arms, elbows, shoulder height or higher. Inhale lift your right heel and exhale twist to your right. Inhale back to center, lower your right heel, lift your left heel. Exhale twist to your left. Inhale back to center. Hands down to your side, stand proud, engage your triceps and quads for mountain. Inhale your hands up overhead, interlace your fingers, pointer finger stretched out. Exhale, lean back and look up a little bit. Inhale, rise back up through center. Hands to your low back, either on your low back or fingers interlaced. Inhale again, lean back, look up, and then bend your knees and gently fold forward. And then when you're at the bottom, maybe straighten your knees again. Maybe your hands come up overhead. Inhale, bend your knees, rise up through chair. 
sit back, shoulders relax, arms long. Inhale, straighten your legs. And exhale, maybe come onto your toes, lifting your heels. Exhale, release your heels and swan dive, folding from your hips. Inhale, hands to shins for half lift. And exhale, fold forward and start to walk yourself forward into a plank. And from plank, you have the option to do a side plank. You can either bring your knee out to the side, left leg back, left arm up, or you could lift that left leg, or you can stack your legs and stand on your right leg. Keys to good side plank. Your whole body is in the same alignment, same plane, lifting from your hips, elbow bent. Exhale, release through center, switch sides, side plank on the opposite side. Exhale, release through center, the down dog. Inhale, your right leg behind you. Exhale, glide forward into a low lunge. Inhale, lean back, shoulders and chest back. Exhale, glide forward, arms up overhead. Take a nice full revolution. Inhale, your arms up overhead. And exhale, lean to your right, right hand under your hamstring, left hand overhead. Inhale, rise up through center. Exhale, lean to the left. Inhale, rise up back, back up through center. Inhale, your right hand to your right hip. So lean forward with your left arm and hand, and then take a twist. That leaning forward helps decompress the spine, makes twists more approachable. Exhale, release the twist. Straighten that front leg for half split. Inhale, walk yourself forward, plant your hands. Exhale, standing splits. Exhale, release your hands to the earth, back through low lunge. Knees together for narrow knee child's pose for a couple breaths. And keeping the forearms where they are. Inhale, glide your chest forward for up dog or cobra. And exhale to down dog. Inhale your left leg behind you. Exhale, glide it forward into a low lunge. Inhale, lean back. And exhale, glide forward, arms up overhead, take a nice full revolution. Inhale, your arms up, shoulders relaxed. Exhale, lean to your left, left hand on your hamstring, right hand overhead. Inhale, rise up through center. Exhale, lean to the left, into the right. Inhale, rise back up through center. Left hand to your left hip, exhale, lean forward and twist, knee outside, or elbow outside here, quad. Exhale, release the twist, straighten that front leg. And then you'll walk yourself forward, hands forward and come up through standing splits. Straighten that front leg and back leg. Back toes up towards the sky. Maybe your hands wrap around your calf on the earth or on the leg that's on the earth. Exhale, release to the earth. Low lunge. Knees together for narrow new child's pose. Inhale, forearms, stay where they are. Glide forward to up dog or cobra. And exhale. For down dog. Inhale, walk your hands back to your feet. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back for half lift. 
Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise up your chair. And exhale, straighten your arms and legs and maybe come onto your toes, lifting your heels. Exhale, release your heels to the earth. Fold forward. Inhale, hands to shins, half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, walk yourself forward into a dolphin or just a normal down dog if that's better for you. Dolphin, I like to do more um, when we do wall work because it helps us open up our chest a bit more. It's also why we started with fish today. This helps us for our handstands and headstands if we want. I'm gonna straighten the arms back in a down dog. And the option here to do some donkey kicks if you'd like, or you're gonna stay in down dog. Try to do donkey kicks, you just kind of kick out your dominant leg back. These are preparation for handstand. Come back to hands and knees. Come back up to down dog. Inhale your right leg in the air behind you. And exhale, glide it forward for crescent. Rise up tall. Hands the sides of your ears. Inhale, right hand your right hip. Exhale, lean forward and take a twist. And you can stay here or open up your arms or plant your hand for a vault side angle if you'd like. If I'm revolved side angle or wherever you're at, start to bring your left hand forward and your right hand down and back. And then bring that right hand through center back up to crescent. Hands on your hips, bump that back foot up for pyramid. Start tall, hips forward. And then exhale, just hold forward until your back wants to start to round. Feel a nice stretch on your hamstrings. And inhale, bend that front knee slightly and exhale, fold forward all the way down and then maybe re-straighten that knee most of the way for full pyramid. Your hands can be on the earth, on a block or on your shin. And bend that front knee, plant your hands and fly up through warrior C. Exhale, release your hands to earth from high lunge. Take a vinyasa flow or three-legged flow. High push up to low push up. Up dog or cobra to down dog. Inhale your left leg in the air behind you. Exhale, glide it forward, rise up through crescent. Inhale your left hand to your left hip. Exhale, lean forward and take a twist. And now just stay here, open up your arms, or take grip all side angle. Wherever you're at, start to slowly rise up with your right hand forward and left hand back. And then bring that left hand up and forward. Bump that back foot up for pyramid. Hands on your hips. Inhale tall. Legs straight and exhale. Fold forward just a few inches till your back wants to start to round. And then inhale, bend your knee gently and exhale. Fold forward. And then maybe re-straighten that knee most of the way for pyramid. Inhale, bend that front knee, plant your hands, and fly up through warrior C. Hands can be heart center, side, in front of you, behind you, whatever feels good. And 
Exhale, come back to high lunge, plant your hands, and take a vinyasa flow. High push up to low push up, up dog or cobra to down dog. Inhale, walk your hands back to your feet. You'll tell your feet out wide and exhale, sit down in Malasana or Yogi squat. This is hard on your knees. You can sit on your forearms between your knees. You can bring your elbows to your knees and hands together or your hands come straight for even more of a stretch. You have the option to stay here or take crow. Take crow, straighten your knee, feet forward, plant your hands, knees come towards your armpits or top of your triceps. Look forward, lean forward, and maybe raise your feet off the earth. Maybe not, just do what's right for you. Go ahead and stay wherever you are for a few more breaths. Plant your hands, straighten your legs, walk yourself forward into a down dog. Bend your knees, look forward, and step or float to the front of your mat. Inhale, half lift, and exhale, fold forward. And inhale, slowly just rise up. And bring your hands to heart center. I'm going to come through tree first. So you can bring your heel to your shin, your calf. Just avoid your knee or to your quad or to half lotus if you like. Inhale, arms up overhead. And maybe then bring them forward. Maybe your foot doesn't want to stay. So you just bring it down to whatever is comfortable for you. Bring our hands to our hips and step back. It's warrior A. Front knees bent, back legs straight, back foot's out of 45 degree angle, hips forward, shoulders relaxed, arms up overhead. Bend in that front knee a little bit more, make sure you're not gripping on with your toes too much. Hands together, exhale, warrior B. Now your legs are in the same plane, heels are aligned. Upper body is vertical, looking over those front hands, shoulders relaxed, hands forward and back, knee remains bent. Inhale, flip the front palm, lean forward, lean back to reverse warrior, keeping that front knee bent, back leg straight. Then keep the arms where they are, inhale, straighten that front leg for a reverse triangle. Lift your hand up higher. Keep the legs where they are. Inhale your arms through warrior B arms. Keep the legs straight. Exhale, lean forward and tilt for triangle. Top hand actively lifting up. Top shoulder in the same plane as your legs. If you're able to actively lift up and then down, then lift your bottom hand towards your foot. If not, just keep your hand on your shin or your quad. The top part is more important than the bottom part. Actively lifting up, resisting gravity. Exhale, bend the front knee for side angle, or you can take a wrap if you'd like. Take a wrap, keep your upper body in the same plane as your legs. Exhale, release the twist. Plant your left hand in front of your left foot for half moon. Straighten both legs, top legs parallel to the earth. Right hand lifting up. Maybe your left hand comes off the earth a little bit too if that feels good for you. Release back into warrior B position and then walk yourself to the side for wide-legged forward fold. Heels out, toes in. Inhale, flat back, half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Forearms towards the earth.
Inhale, walk back up through center. Walk yourself forward into a lunge. And take your vinyasa flow. High push up to low push up. Up dog or cobra to down dog. Bend your knees. Step or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise up. Hands to heart center. Now your left foot, left heel is on your right chin, your right calf, or pressed against your right quad. Mine doesn't want to stay up today, so we'll just, in our minds, it's perfect. Our bodies do the best we can. Inhale, maybe your arms come up overhead. And then exhale, maybe push forward. Ooh. Maybe you fall. It's okay. Your hands together. Step back into warrior A. Legs are in separate planes. Front knees bent, back legs straight, back foot out, 45 degree angle. Hips forward, shoulders relaxed. Hands up overhead. Front knees bent. And hands together. Warrior B. Heels are aligned, upper body's vertical. Hands out to the side, shoulders relaxed, hands pulling out actively. Look over that front hand. Front knee remains bent, find equal balance to front and back body. Inhale, flip the front palm, lean forward and lean back for reverse warrior. Front knee remains bent, back leg straight. And then inhale, straighten that front leg for reverse triangle. Inhale, keep the legs where they are, hands to warrior B arms. Exhale, lean forward and then tilt for triangle. Top hand actively lifting up. Top shoulder back in the same plane. Front hand comes down if that's okay, as long as you're still actively lifting up. Exhale, bend that front knee for side angle. You can take the wrap if you'd like or any variation you want. Release the twist, come to half moon. Hand out in front, to the side. Straighten the legs. Come back to warrior B. It's wide legged forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise up through center and walk yourself forward. And take the final vinyasa flow to sequence. High push up to low push up. Up dog or cobra. To down dog. I'm just gonna check the clock. All right. From down dog. Right leg back and then bring it forward, foot outside, your hands back knee to the earth, high lizard. You can stay here or take variations. You could bring your forearms to the earth or under a block. You do a balancing posture by planting your hands and resting your body on your forearms. Or bird of paradise for bringing your foot all the way out to the side. Right arm under your right leg, left cheek to the earth. I'm supporting my, with my hand because I don't want my AirPods to fall out of my ears. This is a true surrender posture. It looks challenging, it's really not. Just requires trust that you can do it. And it's actually about teaching your muscles to let go rather than forcing your body to do something it shouldn't be doing wherever you're at, take four or five more breaths. Wherever you're at, come back to high lizard and then straighten that front leg for half splits. 
or slide it further forward for a fuller expression of split. Straighten that or bend that front knee again. If you have bad knees, come onto your back for figure four. Otherwise, heel toe your foot outside for pigeon. Start tall, check your alignment. Is your shin parallel to the front of the mat? Are your hips coming forward? Is your knee outside your hip? And if that feels good, you can slowly start to exhale forward. The reason I say slowly is you don't want to abruptly do postures like this so you can rip your hip flexor. Bring it surrender all the way to the earth if you'd like. Or any other variation that you prefer. You can inhale, slowly walk yourself back up and explore active pigeon by planting your right hand in front of your right shin, bending your left knee, grabbing your left foot, right hand forward, up overhead. Exhale, release. Come back up to three leg dog. Bend your knees, stack your hips. Shake it out a bit, or you can flip the dog for wild thing if you'd like. Exhale, release back to center. From down dog, left leg up behind you, and then left foot outside your hands. For humble warrior. You can stay here, take any variation you'd like. Start tall, bring your forearms to the earth. You can balance. Or slide your foot off to the side. For the bird, bird of paradise variation. Relax and surrender to the earth. You can slowly inhale, walk your hands back up to high lizard. Straighten that front leg for half splits or a fuller expression of half splits, maybe even full splits. You can walk yourself back up to high lunge and you can come onto your back for figure four, or heel to your foot out to the side for pigeon. Start tall, check your alignment. Front shin parallel to the front of the mat. Hands on your hips. And exhale, fold forward if you'd like. Maybe all the way to the earth. Inhale, slowly walk back up through center. Left hand in front of your left shin, bend your right knee for active pigeon. Hand grabs your foot, maybe your left hand comes forward. Exhale, slowly release. Plant your right foot, three-legged dog, bend your knee, stack your hips. Maybe shake it out or maybe flip for a wild thing. And exhale, release. And come straight down to Sphinx. Forearms parallel. Closer your elbows are to your body. The more you'll feel this on your low back, so just do what's right for you. Maybe plant the tops of your feet. Lift your knees off the earth. Maybe lift your core off the earth. 
and exhale slowly. Release to the earth, bring one arm up overhead, roll onto your back. Bring your arms out like a T, knees bend 90 degrees, chins parallel to the earth. Let's take a spinal twist. Exhale, bend your knees to the right. Keep your shoulders planted. Look over at your left hand. If your knees are coming apart, you kind of place a block underneath or between them or use your right hand. And just to pull your knees closer to you, to the earth or together. Or you can straighten your feet out to the side if you'd like. Bend your knees, bring them through center on your inhale, and exhale, bring them to the left. Same options, keep the shoulder planted, look off at your left, your right hand, maybe your left hand helps bring your knees together if necessary. Or maybe just straighten your hands out to the, or feet out to the side towards your hand. Bend your knees. Bring the soles of your feet wide to the earth. And just do a few wide windshield wipers. So exhale, your knees go down to one side together. Inhale, back up. Exhale down. Just repeat this a few times per side. Now we begin our wall work. If you don't want to do wall work, you could just bring your block and do supported bridge, or you could do bridge, or you could support your sacrum and bring your legs up skyward. Otherwise, bring your mat close to a wall. And we will start with a handstand with our feet at the wall, base of the wall. So we're gonna start with kind of a narrow down dog. And then what you do is just sort of walk your feet up. Your hands are like they are in down dog. You might bring one leg up, maybe both, maybe scorpion. And then come back down when you're ready. We're gonna turn around, face the wall, and you can do handstand here if that feels good, or you can do headstand, which might be a bit easier. Or you can do forearm handstand. Um, or you could just bring your hips to the wall and do legs up the wall if that's better for you right now. But if you're gonna do headstand or handstand, I'm gonna do headstand. You're gonna bring your hands together, interlace your fingers, for headstand, your elbows are kind of medium width. For handstand, they're pretty narrow. So you can rest the top of your head to the earth if that's what you're doing. And you're coming, coming to like a really short dolphin. And just gently kick up and then lift with your head a little bit. So your head's either barely touching the earth or not touching the earth at all. And then maybe your legs away from the wall for a bit. Whew. I'm a little out of practice <laughs> in part because yoga studios, we can't touch the walls right now because of coronavirus. So you can do more of those or we can do a shoulder stand sequence where you bring your hips to the wall like right next to the wall and just bring your legs up and then plant your feet and lift up into a bridge with the wall. And then you can bring your hands to your low to medium back, create a sort of tripod and then bring your legs up for shoulder stand. 
I'm not going to be able to talk while your shoulder stand, but just make sure you don't move your head when you're in shoulder stand. You don't want to hurt your neck. And whenever you're ready, you can come into plow if you'd like. Bring your feet overhead. Maybe they touch the earth. Maybe they don't even come close. And you can repeat that cycle again if you'd like. Or you can just do your first of a few Shavasana sequences by bringing your legs up the wall and your upper body is in Shavasana. Your lower body is pretty much in Shavasana except your feet aren't going to be pointed outward. Everything except the fact that you're bent and your legs are up the wall. This is a great restorative posture. Also great for helping your kids fall asleep at night if they won't sleep. And now that my son's six, he thinks he's smarter than me and knows I'm trying to do this to help him fall asleep and kind of resist doing it. But maybe we'll try it tonight. You're welcome to stay with legs up the wall as long as you want. Or you can come to the earth and do supported fish again. But this time, if you do supported fish, you're going to do low and medium blocks instead of medium and high. And you're going to keep your legs straight instead of bent. And this is really, truly like a Shavasana, except your lower back and head are supported. This just helps us open up the heart, which just means opening up the chest and relaxing the shoulders, which is kind of one of the key things for yoga. And this stretch immensely helps with shoulder stand and head stand and head stand and other more acrobatic poses. And even if you can't do those, this still helps you build the body and muscle memory and nervous system improvements to support those moves, if you ever choose to do them in the future. You know, whenever you're ready, come to traditional Shavasana. And you can stay here as long as you want. Obviously, this is a recorded video, well, unless you're doing it live. I'm just going to do a minute or two because I try to keep these videos to roughly an hour, but in many ways, an hour and a half is actually the right amount of time for yoga if you can spare it. And in that hour and a half often means 10 to 15 minutes of Shavasana or Shavasana postures. So let's do what's right for you. Whenever you're ready, Go to, start to bring some life back to your hands and feet and start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Start to rotate your wrists and ankles in one direction and the other. Maybe windshield wiper them side to side. Stretch your arms up overhead, your heels down long, toes curled back and then the back of your body a nice stretch. And bend your knees, grab your shins and rock side to side. Take some circles. And inhale one arm over the head, overhead and roll to that side and take a couple breaths on this side. And then use that top hand and walk yourself up. And if you have a block, you might want to sit on the edge of it. Just to relax your hips a little bit, sit up tall against an imaginary wall. And then we're going to start the class or end the class similar to how we started. So you're going to inhale your arms up overhead and exhale, release. And do this a couple more times with your own breath and maybe just reflect on how you feel now compared to the start of the class. Maybe you feel warmer, maybe you feel more relaxed, maybe you feel tired. Whatever it is, just reflect on those changes and your intention for the class. 
And inhale your hands together and bring them down to heart center. Thank you so much for allowing me to guide you through your practice today. And thank yourself for making time for yoga and for yourself and for finding some time for balance and energy and whatever you needed today. I bow to the light and sound and all of you. Namaste. Thank you. I haven't been recording as many classes lately just because I've been doing a lot of things, some yoga and some just being really busy with life. But I will be trying to record more um, in the near future. But again, there's about 45 or 50 videos on the channel now. So if I'm ever not recording that day, feel free to just try one of the others. And um, as always, if you have any feedback or questions, just let me know. Send me an email or a message. Cheers and have a good day or night.